one of the questions we, we often get is how do we um, show the system how we want to pick the parts and where we want to place them. And what's interesting is that path planning um, and the way that the system moves through the space not only makes it reliable, but it also makes the programming extremely easy. So you get those two things. If we look at the actual program itself, you'll notice that it's less than 35 lines of code, which is really incredible for, you know, for a program to pick unstructured parts and place them into a bin. Um, so what we'll do is we'll actually together now uh, uh, teach the system how to pick and how to place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suppress those uh, pick rules and place rules that we were picking out of the bin and placing into this, this fixture here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna create a couple of new ones. So here's a new pick rule and a new place rule. So to train a new pick rule, we basically just hit this teach button and it gives us some very simple on-screen instructions. It says, attach the part to the tool, move the robot with the part underneath the 3D scanner and hit scan or, or remember. And for this part, um, in this case, we'll just teach it to pick on the barcode side, but you can train as many pick rules as you want. So we would, you know, in a real application, train it to pick here and another one here and another one here and maybe another one here. You can train as many uh, pick rules as you want. Okay, so let's uh, do this now. So I'm gonna grab the robot. We're gonna move it under the 3D scanner. We're gonna turn the suction on and we're gonna attach the part here in the middle of this uh, barcode. Okay, and then we come back here and like the instructions say, we hit scan. So you're gonna see the red lights um, flash when we hit scan. Okay. And it's looking for that part and it found it. Here it is. And we hit done. So now we've just trained it to only pick parts here in the middle of this barcode. Okay. So the next question is, how do we want to place it? Well, again, the first step is the same. Hit that teach button, hit scan, see the lights flash, finds the part. But now we want to show it where in the world we want to place it, into a chuck, into a fixture, whatever the case may be. So it tells us to place the part how we want to place it. So in this case, why don't we just place it in my hand right here? Okay. And you'll notice the flat side is facing me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the two holes, the two threaded holes are facing that way. And then it asks us, what about pre-place? How do you want to go into this hand okay. or this chuck? And we want, to, um, we want to come from above. So we want to place it from here straight down, and we want to go straight back up again. So we want to next set how we're going to go up. Let's we'll say we'll go up two inches, and then we'll hit done. And the next thing is you can have any combination of pick rules and place rules. Maybe when you pick the barcode side, you want to place it into here. And when you pick the other side, you want to place it over here. Oh, okay. So you can have any combination of, you know, pick rules and place rules. So you just link them together. For this purpose, we'll just do the simplest, dead simplest, which is one pick rule and one place rule. Okay, we'll turn the suction off. Good catch. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, that's it, yeah, we'll hit play. So the robot's gonna go back to home. It's gonna scan, it's gonna look for parts. Now it's only looking for parts with the barcode side facing up because we only, you know, we only taught it that one. It's gonna figure out how to move and it's gonna place that part right here in my hand, again with the flap side facing me and the two threaded holes facing, you know, facing that way. Same configure every time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so that's how easy it is to train a new a new pick rule and a new place rule. That's cool. So yeah. you can see if you know part changeover is extremely easy. Mm -hmm. You know you have a new part, you load a CAD model of the new part, you show it, you know three or four different ways where you want to pick it. You show it how you want to place it, and you hit play, and it's gonna it's gonna go figure out how to do that. Okay. And one one last point on those flashing uh, lights. That's a laser scanning this area. And uh, you had said before, it's, uh, it keeps track of the first time it scans and then it notices any changes thereafter. Unless, like you heard happen there, 
maybe several parts move and then it does rescan like it just did so yeah what it does is it actually looks um you know looks into the future you could say so it does scan every single time but actually as the system gets gets up and running it's creating a cache of future picks and paths so when it scans sometimes it's just checking hey is the is the part that i've already planned a path to is it still there and right. if it is still there it just simply goes and executes that already you know that already planned path so it it looks into the future now in the case where something moves, when it scans, it says, hey, actually that part's not in the same place um, that, it, that I think it should be. And then it'll clear that cache and start over. Okay, and then so, refigure the next five steps and again. And then re refigure the next five ones, yeah. 